Hi, I'm Dr. Tama Cathers, and today I'm going over the gear that I've gathered together and the changes that I've made to it for my El Camino hike. I was looking for gear and I saw a shirt, an uh, exercise shirt, and I really liked it. I got that shirt. Everything was good about it, except for a few things. It was too short and the chest was too loose right here. And so when I wore it, it kind of opened up. I didn't really want to wear that on the trail, although it was very comfortable for an undershirt. One of the things that I loved about the top was that it was fully reversible and had no seams. So I decided to make my own. I do not sew. I suture body parts together, but I don't sew. But I decided I was going to sew. And not only was I going to sew, I was going to make patterns, which to me seems like the hardest part of sewing. Who makes patterns? I started by making a pattern. The first top that I made was this top. It is fully reversible and it has no seams. It's really comfortable and I can wear it either way. The chest is higher and it's a little tighter. So while it's still a sports top, I don't feel like it's too revealing and it's very comfortable for me. The next top that I made, I made out of a two-tone fabric. This was one side of the fabric and this was the other side of the fabric. And I thought, hey, that's pretty fun. I had a lot of the fabric left over and I had another exercise top that I liked a lot as well. So I decided to make another pattern and this is what I got. I made the pattern a little too short in the shoulders and I had to add some material and I didn't have any more material left so I put on this blue color from the first top I made. And again, it's fully reversible, very comfortable, there are no seams anywhere. And this one, I decided to make a pocket. So not only can I get in here and adjust the modesty pads, but I can carry something in the pocket if I need to, like a set of keys. That had me all happy and excited, so I ordered some fabric. While I was waiting for the fabric to come, I looked at the shorts that I was going to take, and I love two pairs of shorts that I got in the 1990s. And needless to say, they're a little old. So I ended up making a pair of exercise shorts. Now, I did have a pattern for this, but of course I modified it. So I took the pattern and I modified it. I made the legs longer and I made the waist longer. Pretty happy with these. We are gonna talk about the pockets that I'm going to add later. Because I was happy with those and I wanted a blue pair to replace the blue pair I had. I like this fabric because it's very thin and it breathes well. Then my fabric came in, yay! So, so what I did was I made another top out of this design with the shoulder straps. It's good, but I'm gonna have to modify it because the shoulders are too long. I made another top out of the original design, the one that has this back and straps and a small front, but it has no shoulders. I made this just like that, but when it came out, it was all wonky. It was too tight, the shoulder straps were too stretchy, it was just terrible. I thought that maybe I'd throw it away, but I reconfigured it. I decided that I wanted a racer back, and I had no patterns with racer backs, so I just kind of designed a racer back and I am very happy with how this came out. Here's the front and here's the back. The cool thing about this fabric is it has basically the El Camino symbol, which is a conch shell facing sideways. And it has the same pattern, but the shells are facing up. So I love this because I had a little of this fabric left. I decided I was gonna do one more pair of shorts. I wanted to do something different, so I printed off a different pattern for exercise shorts that had a band at the top. However, the printout came a 
about this big and it wouldn't be useful for making a pattern. I took my handy dandy original pattern and I designed a band that would go around the front. This is the pair of shorts I ended up with and I'm actually very happy with them. They have this band, they go above my waist and I even added pockets. But I designed it so that these pieces with the selvage edge would be here in the back. So I already know which is the back and the front because I've designed them to have this little white spot. So that's some of my El Camino gear. I'll go over the rest later.